Hi everyone, it's Barry Lester here, Australian Jackaroo, I'm at the beautiful Wendy Legs Club in Western Sydney, and I'm joined by Cameron Curtis. Cameron, tell us a bit about your role um, and your position at the club and what it's like to uh, witness this beautiful structure behind us being built over the years and, and what you do now in terms of playing under it. Yeah, thanks Baz. Um, look, uh, I've been here just over five years as the bowls coordinator at Wendy Legs. Uh, this structure was just finished as I, uh, as I started and uh, it's been just a fantastic addition to this club and uh, we've had bowling greens here at this massive rugby league club for, since 1963. Um, because the greens are on uh, the premises right here at the venue, uh, bowls is a big part of the club and everything they do, but to have the opportunities of uh, something like this um, and this uh, beautiful structure, it's been fantastic. And it's a phenomenal setup. It really does look great. Even when people are driving past, you know, you can see them looking over the, the fence sort of thing. Um, uh, what kind of work went into sort of having this personal design and how important is it to know that you've got your sort of own unique bespoke uh, set up here? Oh, look, I think there was a lot of planning uh, from our board. Um, they are very progressive. Um, they've always got their five and 10 year plans. Um, I wasn't here for the, the initial plan of it, but I was so happy to, uh, when I first came here, to uh, chat to the club about coming on board here to see this structure um, and to have the best of both worlds. We've got a covered green, um, we've still got one natural grass green, but you know, particularly as corporate bowls is growing and barefoot, not that we do a lot of barefoot here, we mainly focus on the, the corporate because of that bespoke nature of the whole club and the structure, um, and also I guess the top class, we sort of sell it as that top class, the corporate Christmas parties and other training and functions they have, they've always got the roof, the function always goes ahead. Um, it's just been magnificent. And I'm absolutely loving playing here at Wendy Leagues as a marquee player flying down from Queensland. And just so happened to this year, uh, over the last sort of month or two, we've had a fair bit of wet weather and we've had to come indoors or under the roof and play a bit of bit of bowls there. You know, high level bowls, Division One pennant, some of the best players in the world playing. And what's it like to host them here and know that you've got the roof in case it rains? Yeah, look, it's just a big win all around because, I mean, a lot goes into uh, getting all the, the great players playing at your club and getting those games on. I mean, everyone's so busy with their schedule, we can't afford to really lose games and to be able to still, you know, rain, hail or shine. I mean, last year in Sydney was the prime example. I mean, we, we almost had six months plus of straight rain and we never lost a day. And we're one of the you know, only two clubs in Sydney with this setup and we were fielding phone calls daily from bowlers trying to get their bowls fixed and get on the green and our social, which we were able to help a lot of them out. So we've just got all the bases covered. And you're working with a worldwide company. Mac Max do structures all around the world for different sports and different things. And that's what I really love. And also being a Jackaroo and a former employee of Bowls Australia, they've been a loyal partner with Bowls Australia for over 10 years, which is really important. And I know a lot of people out of Clubland appreciate that as well. But the, the actual material, the, the actual canopy itself, the material, the, the PTFE, uh, I, was, I heard recently that it's the same material as the Sydney football stadium. Okay. So how crazy is that? It's just high tech quality gear. Yeah, it's state of the art stuff. And uh, I mean, we recently just got ours cleaned. Uh, we had the whole, whole underneath structure uh, cleaned, the top of the roof took about four days and that just come up like a million dollars too. And it's just a showpiece for the club. It just, you know, shows off the club, lights it up, and it, and it really gets the next turning as people drive past. So it's attracting more and more people to us as well. Well, thanks for joining us, Cam. Cameron Curtis, the bowls manager here at the Winnie Leagues Bowls Club. We're going to go chuck a few down, enjoy playing a bit out of the sun today before we head off and play a Divi 1 game this afternoon out on the grass. Have a great day. Talk soon. Thank you. Yeah, my name is John Stevenson. Nickname is Emu. Uh, life member of the Loose Club here and some other clubs. Uh, uh, playing underneath this uh, roof here is fantastic. Um, it's very, very nice to uh, come down and, and if it's raining, we still play. So that's what it's there for. And uh, I love playing on it as well as uh, the grass down there. But uh, up the top here is very, very good. Hello, I'm uh, Richard Cater. Um, playing under this canopy is uh, awesome because during uh, wet season when no one's playing bowls, we get the opportunity to play under it. So it's fantastic, it's bowls 24-7 and um, it's great, keeps the sun out and keeps bowls on. Uh, g'day, my name's uh, Adam, I'm a member here at Wenny Leagues. Um, I've been playing here since 2006. 
Um, ever since that they've built the actual uh, carpet green and the roof, it's been an amazing experience being able to play when it's raining, uh, being able to you know continue zone events and things like that when other clubs are being called off. Um, it's, a, it's a fantastic experience. Um, the carpet runs really well and um, yeah, the, the club have done a really good thing for their membership here at Wenny Leagues.